Now you probably saw last year in some news reports that ChatGPT actually passed the US Emily. And since then, there has been so much buzz around AI, med ed tools, how AI is going to impact med ed, et cetera. And so we've taken upon ourselves to craft the code of ChatGPT and US Emily studying. And today I'm gonna to share that all with you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jake. I'm a third year medical student. And today I have some really exciting news for you that's gonna help you in your study process. So over the past few months, I've been partnering with Hi Guru on a really exciting project. In today's video, we're gonna be diving into three prompts. The first is related to step one to create an MBME foundational science vignette for you. The second is going to be tutoring you through a UWorld MBME or any multiple choice question that you input into the prompt. And the third is going to be creating a management step 2CK question to help guide you through your clinical reasoning and your step 2CK prep. Be sure to stay to the end. I'm gonna show you how to get access to everything I'm showing you today, including the linked notion that you'll see in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's dive into some of the prompts and just show you how powerful this can be for your study. So let's dive into the first prompt, making a foundational science vignette. Now, if you're a med student in your first two years or you're studying for the step one exam, we know how important and how much emphasis they place on the basic sciences. So we've designed this prompt just for you. Now. Turn your heads to ChatGPT. All you're gonna do is copy and paste the prompt into the chat bar. It doesn't matter if you have 3.5, the free version, R4, it will work for both. You're gonna hit enter, and ChatGPT is gonna tell you that it understands the prompt and to provide an MBME or USMLE content diagnosis or concept. So whatever you want, whether it be a drug, a topic, a diagnosis, put it into the chat bar. Let's try out multiple myeloma and see what it does. So as you can see, it's generating a vignette multiple choice question, an explanation, and a beautiful table explaining both the incorrect explanation, USMLE vignette features, and reasoning. As you can see, super, super powerful, the output. So let's go through it briefly. A 65-year-old man presents to a primary care physician complaining of persistent bone pain, particularly in his lower back and ribs for the past few months. You can see they provide some more background here. A beautiful um, multiple choice question here. As you can see with the table here, it beautifully outlines the incorrect explanations as well as giving USMLE vignette integrations and the reasoning. Um, you guys can go through this yourself while you're, while you're trying out the prompt, but I find it super, super helpful to help organize questions, vignettes, and topics that I'm having difficulty with. And in this case, you'll see the answer is C, increased osteoclastic bone reabsorption, and it gives you a little bit of a background and explanation there. So really, really helpful for step one. And if, if you're in your first two years of medical school, go try out this prompt. But for now, let's move on to the next one. Moving along, prompt two, tutor me through a question. Now this can be an MBME question, a UWorld question, a question from any of your question banks, or even a question that's generated from ChatGPT itself. If you're stressing about not understanding the rationales or the explanations, don't worry, you've got your personal tutor right here. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the exact same thing and copy and paste the prompt into GPT. Now at the very top, we have outlined if it's a USMLE step one or step two CK focused question, because this is gonna help the GPT better tailor the question. For today's purpose, let's do USMLE step one. Same as last time, we're gonna hit enter and the chat GPT is gonna say, I understand the task, provide the prompt. So for today's example, I've got a vignette right from my neurology guide of my guides and we're gonna hit enter. As you can see, the chat GPT is gonna talk about key content knowledge points approach the NBME style questions, a beautiful vignette breakdown and thinking process, as well as the incorrect answers and the rationale. Look at this, guys. Cafe LA spots, bilateral vestibular schwannomas, cardiac rhabdomyoma, bilateral renal cell carcinoma, port wine stains, all features of neurocutaneous disorders, which can often be very easily mixed up, right? And so look how beautiful the output is with this table. It tells you the incorrect answer, the likely diagnosis, and the vignette features you'd expect to see in your exams. So really, really powerful tool, guys. If you're having any problems with questions, highly recommend you use this personal tutor to help guide you through any style of question. And finally, prompt three, make a management focus style vignette. Now, if you're going through your clinical rotations, studying for step two CK or step three, we know how much emphasis they place on the clinical applications. Next best step in management, diagnostic criteria. And so we've designed this prompt exactly for you. Let's turn ahead to the chat GPT. What you're gonna do is you're gonna copy and paste the prompt like we've done in the past two, and you're gonna hit enter. Now you're gonna see that the chat GPT understands and wants you to provide content or diagnosis to create a question. For today's purpose, let's do preterm labor because I'm just finishing my OBGYN exam. So 
It's gonna provide a clinical case. And as you can see here, guys, look at the question it generates, which of the following is the most appropriate initial step in managing this patient, a very step two, step three focused question. It gives you an explanation, incorrect answer choices, as well as a correct answer explanation. Now guys, you can also see that it's very, very relevant to um, what you're gonna find in your exams, right? Tocolytic therapy, fetal fibronectin tests, sterile speculum exam, administering cortical steroids, administer meg salt, right? And it'll give you a beautiful explanation why the incorrect answer choices are wrong and the rationales behind them, as well as MBME writing strategies and principles used to help guide the clinical case. So guys, those are the three vignettes. I'm now gonna show you how to get access to this all so that you can maximize your study with ChatGPT. This is groundbreaking, guys. I'm so excited to be partnered with HiGuru to really help accelerate your studying using the power of AI and ChatGPT. So that's it. I hope you guys really saw the power of these three prompts and using ChatGPT with your USMLE prep and study. Now, I did promise you that I'd show you how to get access to this all. So what you're gonna do right now is you're gonna go to the description and click on that Notion link. This is gonna have everything and this is where you're gonna navigate the three prompts. So you're gonna see the three prompts. You're gonna be able to copy and paste this into your ChatGPT like you saw me do in the video. Even if you have ChatGPT 3.5, the free version, it will completely work. All you have to do is modify the red fields that you see. And guess what? This is just the start. Hi Guru and I are working tirelessly on more prompts to come. Here's a little sneak peek. Guys, exciting things are coming. Stay tuned. I really, really hope you find as much use that I'm finding using ChatGPT with your USMLE study. So that's it for me. And as always, study smarter, not harder. See you next time.